Hi guys. Hi guys, I hope you're all really well. I would first like to say hello and welcome to all my new subscribers. Thank you for joining the team. Today I'm going to be sorting out the lining for this tutu that I started back in January. I've already cut out my lining fabric. It's a poly viscose, I believe. And I got it from the Sewing Craft Superstore in Balham. So I've cut this out and what I'm going to do is I'm going to French seam the seams so that all the raw edges are encased in itself. That's what I did with the grey ones but I didn't actually show you what I did, I just did it. For anyone who has never done a French seam, because obviously the next section is just going to be some speed sewing. To French seam a seam, you first have to sew your right sides together. So I will be sewing them together like that. So when you first do it, your right sides will have all the raw edges on the outside. And then what you do is, you iron out your seam, so you iron it, so that it all folds to one side. And then you turn it inside out, and then you redo the seam. So then on both sides, it's like nice and neat. You will see more in the following clips. battery ran out so I had to stop filming and I went ahead and I finished off my uh, French seam. So as you can see this is now the wrong side of the fabric and it's all encased and folded over and then that's the right side of the fabric and where the fabric has started to fray already it's coming through on the other side so I just need to tidy that up a bit and then I'll be good to go. But before I do that I'm just going to start working on the hem. So I've marked on a two and a half centimetre hem and I'm going to stitch along this line because it's a curved edge and then it will help me just have a bit more control when I'm actually sewing the hem. So I'm going to stitch along this line with a straight stitch first, then I'm going to iron it and I'm going to fold it up and then fold it up again and then I'll do a rounded hem like that. Just to, again to keep all the raw edges in because this fabric is quite uh, fray y if that's a word, um, and quite slippy too so hopefully that will give it a bit more control and stability. So that's what I'm going to get working on now um, and yeah I'm going to see how far I can get with it. I'm, I'm hoping to get this skirt finished today just so it's done because it's one of those things that I've had um, sitting around for a while. <laughs> finished hemming my skirt lining. I did the first stitching to help me get better control on the actual edge of it and then I've ironed it, pressed it, folded it over and I put these new pins in it. So now I'm just going to get on to sewing it in place and then attaching the lining to the tutu skirt itself. Hi guys, it's now Monday 12th. I didn't get to finish the tutu on Saturday, unfortunately, and I tried to do it a little bit yesterday, being Sunday, and I didn't 
quite get it finished but I am very nearly there so I'm gonna crack on with that. Hey, what did I do yesterday on it? I think I attached the lining and I'm pretty sure I showed that on camera but what I didn't show on camera was that I sorted out the waistband because I was just trying to do it really quickly. I was secretly hoping I could get it done before I went to bed but I just didn't so I have sorted out the waistband so I've constructed it and I did um a French seams on that as well and obviously left a little opening to put the elastic through so now I'm just trying to get it attach it to the skirt so I can sew it around and get it all done and it'll be great and then get the elastic in and then that's it it'll be finished so I should in theory be able to get it done this evening so fingers crossed that I can and then it's a case of moving on to the next thing <laughs> 